What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Music Disc Farm. This Music Disc Farm works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on your phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm will allow you to get some gunpowder and a ton of music discs. For this farm, all you'll need is two chests, six glass blocks, three stairs, three slabs, one trap door, you guys can use any trap door, one torch, one door, you guys can use any door, one hopper, and finally about a stack of solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want. The first step is to take some solid blocks, then place down three. After doing that, come over to the side and place down three, then place three on the opposite side. Now, place a block over here. This little chamber will be the skeleton chamber of this music disc farm. In this farm, skeletons will shoot creepers, which will produce music discs. The next step is to place two blocks over here. Now take some glass, place three glass at this spot, and three glass at this spot. After you guys have placed that glass, place three blocks over here. One, two, three. Then place three over here. One, two, three. The next step is to break these three blocks. Now, place down a double chest over here. That will be the collections chest of this farm. Then, come over to this spot, crouch down, and place a hopper on the side of this chest. It's important that that hopper funnels towards the double chest. You guys can make sure that your hopper is funneling towards the double chest because, as you guys can see here, the nozzle of the hopper should be pointing towards it. This hopper will collect all of the drops from the creepers and funnel them into the collections chest. The next step is to place a slab over here. By placing that slab, we will be able to ensure that no creepers sink down into the hopper. By the way, the hopper will be able to pick up drops through the slab. The next step is to temporarily place a block over here, then place a slab on the side, now break the temporary block, then place two more slabs over here. The next step is to place three blocks over here, one, two, three, and three blocks over here, one, two, three. The next step is to place two blocks over here and two blocks over here. Then, do that once more. After you guys have finished placing those blocks, come over here and place down 10 solid blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This spot over here will be the AFK spot of this farm. Next step is to place a trapdoor over here. By having this trapdoor over here, you'll be able to prevent the skeleton from being able to shoot you whenever it has killed all the creepers. Whenever it has killed all the creepers, you guys can close the trapdoor like that to stop the arrows. The next step is to place a door at the spot. By placing that door, you guys will easily be able to access this AFK spot while also being able to protect yourselves from mobs around the area. At this point, I recommend you guys place a torch over here just so you guys can ensure that no mobs will spawn in your AFK area. The next step is to come over to the other side of your music disc farm. Then break this block. You guys will now need to lure a skeleton over to this spot. I am now going to show you all one easy way that you guys can do that in survival mode. To do that, temporarily create some walls around this little chamber. Place two blocks over here, four over here, four over here. Now, place two blocks over here, one at this spot, then place two blocks like this. Once you're done making this little setup, place some rails along the side, just like this. Once you guys see a skeleton, place some rails all the way over to it. Once you're near it, place on a minecart, then try to push the skeleton over to the minecart. Once it's in the minecart, push it over until it is gone into the skeleton chamber of your farm. After it's in there, come over to the side, then break this block. Now break the minecart, then replace the block. Once you guys have a skeleton in this chamber, I recommend that you name it to prevent it from despawning. To do that, Place down an anvil, then open it and place a name tag in, then name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine skeleton. Now, name tag the skeleton, and as you guys can see there, it should be named, so it should never despawn. After you have a skeleton in this chamber, then place a block above it to prevent it from ever burning in the daytime. Now, you guys can break down your little temporary walls up here and your temporary rail staircase. After you guys are done making the skeleton chamber, break this block. Then replace it with a stair block. Now place a block over here and place down a stair block. Finally, place a stair over here. 
This stair will allow you to easily lure creepers up into the creeper chamber of this farm. After creating this little staircase, come over to the creeper chamber, which should be right over here. Then break this block. The next step is to place the trapdoor over here, then shut it. By doing that, we will be able to easily lure creepers into this creeper chamber because creepers will see trapdoors as full blocks. That means whenever you guys run over here and a creeper is chasing you, it should easily walk right into this little chamber. It's really important that you guys place your trapdoor on the side of this block instead of the side of this block so we can ensure creepers will walk into the kill chamber. I am now going to do a quick fly around so you guys can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. Over here, you guys should have your staircase. On this side, you guys should have this little glass chamber. There should be your skeleton chamber over there and your creeper chamber over there. Over here, you guys should have your collections chest. In the back, you guys should have this little waiting spot over here. Finally, this side should be looking something like this. How this farm works is, you guys will be able to lure creepers up to the top of the farm using that staircase in this trap door. Then, once creepers are in that chamber, you guys will be able to come over here into this waiting spot. Then, when you guys open the trap door and you're in survival, the skeleton will start trying to attack you by shooting arrows. Since the creepers are in front of you, the skeleton will end up killing the creepers, and when the creepers die, their music disc and gunpowder will get picked up by the hopper and funneled into the collection's chest. I am now going to show you all one easy way you guys can lure a creeper over here in survival. To do that, first find a nearby creeper. Once you guys get close to it, it should start chasing you. Make sure you guys don't get too close, otherwise it will blow up. After you guys get near your farm, climb up the staircase, then run over here. As you guys can see there, the creeper should walk right into the chamber. The more creepers you have in there, the more music discs you will get before having to lure more creepers. Once you guys have some creepers in the creeper chamber, come down here and come over into this spot. Then stand over here and open this trap door. As you guys can see there, when you do that, the skeleton will start shooting the creepers. The creepers will not explode because they are too far away from you to explode. Eventually, the skeleton will kill the creepers. Whenever a creeper dies, it will drop a music disc. Once the skeleton has killed the creepers, you guys can shut this trap door to prevent it from being able to shoot you. Now, as you guys can see here, you should have some music discs and gunpowder in the chest. If you guys want to get more music discs, you guys can repeat the process of luring more creepers into the creeper chamber. Then go over there to have the skeletons kill the creepers again. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock music disc farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching.